from the dark corners of the safe out here to Riders Range. Well, actually indoors right now, but we did do some range work with us. We have a Marlin Model 56 uh, Levermatic 22 caliber long rifle. We shot it. Uh, we're going to roll some of that footage a little later, and uh, we're going to talk about this here on Riders Range. Stay tuned. <laughs> I want to thank you for dropping in and visiting Riders Range for this review of this Marlin Levermatic Model 56, 22 caliber long rifle rifle. And uh, this one I've had for a long time, and uh, I will admit it's in almost pristine condition. These are a little hard to find. Now, Marlin only made this gun from 1955 to about 1964, so about a 10 year run. And this is an early model. Uh, not quite one of the first produced. We'll talk more about those in just a minute, but it still a, um, was made within the first year of production because it has a steel squared off receiver. In 1956, they changed these to an aluminum receiver with a different profile. This one is, uh, is steel, so it was uh, made during that first year of production. The receiver is uh, drilled and tapped for uh, a scope, and it also came uh, tapped for a receiver sight. This particular one has a Redfield micro adjustable uh, aperture or peep sight on it. Uh, and uh, they've, uh, people who are, were into these guns found out that because of the way the, the one piece stock um, fits the, uh, the action on this, it turned out to be a very, very accurate rifle. So uh, the aperture sights, the uh, uh, micro adjustable recites uh, became very popular on some of these early models. Now these are hard to find. Looking on the internet right now, uh, I found one in ratty condition for about $450. Um, so there, there aren't a lot of them out there. 24 inch barrel, as I said, it's 22 long rifle caliber. Uh, it also uh, has a fixture on it for a buckhorn type sight if that's what you needed. I don't know if this originally had one or not. There's no scratches indicating that uh, there had been one on there. So uh, whoever had it before me may have taken it off. It's a uh, fed by a seven round box magazine and I've looked on the internet for a replace. I've only got one magazine and I like having more than one mag but um, finding these is really rare and when uh, one does find magazines that fit this gun they're expensive. Now the Levermatic is an interesting concept in that well, first of all I mentioned the one piece stock not like most lever guns that have a two piece stock because it's got a steel receiver in the middle this one's all one piece and it doesn't have an exposed hammer like most lever guns do. But the levermatic part of it comes from the short stroke of the action. That's it to fully stroke the action. Now this had uh, some type of uh, uh, cam and a roller, what they call an accelerator in there to make that action short. It only runs about 25 degrees and the whole concept is keeping your hand on the stock while you work the action. So this gun also has a, uh, a safety on it that's a little bit different. It is uh, right here behind the trigger, actually on the side of the lever, and pushing it forward locks not only the trigger, but also locks the lever. Pull it back, you can now work the lever and then work the trigger. Uh, this particular gun uh, had uh, sling swivels on it. I uh, added the sling way, way, way back when. So I mentioned the, uh, the fact that this was first year, but not the early part of the first year. When Marlin first started making these back in 1955, they put serial numbers on them. The Gun Control Act of 1968 was when serial numbers were actually required on all firearms, but prior to that, serial numbers weren't required on uh, rimfire rifles. So they were on centerfire, but not rimfire. And Marlin said, well, wait a minute, if they're not required, why should we do it? And this gun does not have a serial number on it, which means it was made during the first year of production, but not the first production run when they were still putting serial numbers on them. So again, a early, nicely finished gun that shoots very, very nicely. Uh, we'll roll some footage that uh, shows this thing shooting at uh, uh, 25 and 50. Now you know my range only goes out to 50 yards, but shooting offhand, and I'm not a rifle guy, you already know that, uh, but I can easily hit the, the 10 inch plate regularly at 50 yards with this gun. And we took it back into 25 yards and uh, busted a few uh, uh, old paint cans with it without any trouble at all. A friend of mine used this a few years ago in a match where most of the other people competing at 100 yards with 22s had scoped rifles. He shot this with iron sights and he was doing just about as good as many of those scoped rifles. So, But let's try this out at 50 yards, federal target ammunition. And let's start with the white 
16 with a black center. All right, that hits it. How about the white 12 with the orange center right below it? I got it, 22 is not going to move these very far. So let's go to the white 10 on the left with the black center. White 8 inch there on the left. All right, let's uh, go to the, we haven't done the silhouette. Got a couple of paint cans there at the 25 yard line. Let's just see if I can get them. Bottom one first. Uh, middle one on the hill. All right, that was pretty good. How about the top one? I'm gonna launch it, that's it. So it's a highly accurate little gun and I'm really glad I've got it in the collection. Uh, in fact, the firearm guy was here uh, the other day and uh, shot it. He'll, uh, he may have already done a video on it by the time this one goes up. And he said that, um, how much? And I had to tell him it's not for sale. And he had to remind me that everything's for sale, but he uh, didn't come up with a price that I was willing to part with this. So the Marlin Model 56 Levermatic 22 caliber rifle from the dark corners of the safe out here to Riders Range. If you like this video, we do appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, if you haven't already done so, please subscribe, click on the notifications bell so you know what's coming up on Riders Range. Uh, comments on this video down below are highly appreciated. The more comments we get, the more you can share these videos, uh, the more we can work our way up in the YouTube algorithms and it's highly appreciated. Comments on anything else, send them to info at ridersrange.com. So here's just a quick look at the Marlin Model 56 Lever Matic 22 caliber long rifle. Uh, something that's going to stay in the collection and be passed down to the grandkids. Thanks so much for stopping into Rider's Range.